this video is to show you how I created my biological pond filter. As you can see, my pond is rather milky in color. The water is it's not clear. So I decided to create my own biological filter. As you can see, I started I, I created this filter by buying a rubbish bin that I brought that I bought from a local superstore. It's just a normal cheap plastic rubbish bin. And inside it I put another small container that is colored black there and it was linked with this uh, the hose and inside this biological pond filter I put the uh, biological media inside it that is the sponges some stones and let the bacteria live happily in it. So let's check the inside. As you can see there, as my black smaller uh, container that I put on the top of my large white bin, and I create a small hole underneath this black container. I'll show you later on using a uh, an easy to read diagram. As you can see there, the black container I made a hole underneath it. Then that hole is linked with this pipe going downward. So the water from the top goes down. And if you can see at the edge of this pipe, I'll punch some holes with. Uh, Put some holes, you know, make, I created some holes there to let the water flow in. And as you can see there, that's the media, the, the sponge media. It's actually the normal sponges. And I put a hole in the middle and put through the pipe to go to the end of, or to the bottom, sorry, to the bottom of this uh, rubbish bin and I also put at the very bottom the biological filter media that I bought from a local uh, fish supply fish suppliers it's quite expensive that media but uh, I thought it would be worth it To make it easier for you to understand, I created some uh, diagram to help you understand what I will. This is the overall diagram of the filter. It started life with two bins, one r big rubbish bin and an open top container. Uh, this is the, the open top black container that we used. I uh, created a hole underneath it and think with a pipe to go down. And if you can see, at the, at the bottom of the uh, pipe, I created some holes to let the air, to let the water out. This is the rubbish bin. Uh, we'll take the top bit up, and then we'll put the black container that we have created before with the pipe on top of it. And then we create uh, an external pipe to let the water goes out back to the pond and at the back of it we put a, a, a hole for the water hose the hose pipe to get in as you can see in this diagram the water gets in from the hose to the black container goes down through the pipe and then goes up again back to the pond and here comes the most important part. Uh, at the very bottom, I'll put the ceramic filter media as a biological media where the bacteria grow, and two uh, two layers of sponges. And the and on inside the black 
container I put some stones and another sponge to filter the water when it goes first in and here comes the overall diagram again and the completed thing is like this now you can see you can open and then that is water get in from the hose and you can see the filter there and the sponges and the water gets in first and they get out again from the bottom to the front of the bin here is the completed filter next to my pump and I'll see in a couple of weeks how good this device works